Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very, very pleased to be here today to launch Victoria the Freight State, the Victorian Freight and Logistics Plan. It is a terrific document and it really does provide uh, great opportunities that outline what we are doing, what opportunities we plan in the future and how we can continue to make sure that Melbourne and Victoria are and will be the freight and logistics capital of Australia. The plan will chart a course of one of our most important industry sectors. It will initiate a number of transformative projects that will shape the state for generations to come. It considers projects that involve the investment of billions of dollars and the generation of thousands of jobs. The plan outlines the government's response to the ever-growing freight challenge and particularly addressing the need for increased capacity in our ports. The plan encompasses two of the largest investments undertaken in the state's history. The expansion of the Port of Hastings and the development of East West Link. And these are vital for the future of our state. We know with the growing demand for our port services that we need to increase capacity. Victoria is the freight and logistics capital of Australia. Proudly so, it drives our economy, it drives jobs. It's absolutely essential for our future that we remain the freight and logistics capital. It's no accident that 37% of the containers going in and out of Australia go through Melbourne, even though geographically we're at the bottom end of the country. It's because we do have the freight and logistics and the port services to back it up. But we can't rest on our laurels. We've got to make sure that over the next 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 years, we are still the major port in Australia. And the only way can, we can do that is invest the $1.6 billion that the Port of Melbourne's investing, increasing capacity at the port today and tomorrow, but also in the late 2020s, we need additional capacity again, and we need the Port of Hastings and natural deep water port. East West is absolutely vital for our future, both in terms of the direct jobs, in terms of productivity and efficiency in traffic movement, and in terms of quality of life. So those are important projects, but this plan also identifies a raft of other projects that are just as important in terms of minor areas where we can invest to reduce bottlenecks, to reduce congestion, to improve movement of freight, to make sure that we can continue to grow the jobs and opportunities that are delivered to this great state through our freight and logistics system. I think this does provide us with a way forward in terms of how we plan our freight and logistics, how we deliver those freight and logistics to service the growing need of our economy to make sure that Melbourne and Victoria remains the number one state for freight and logistics. <laughs>